So I'm about to start my next page in Roxy's Journal of Stitchery and the prompt is bird. I'm taking these as my inspiration and I've got I've got that but I think it might be too dark I'm not sure yet. Um, I have got some gorgeous fabric I've got this which I think will be the body so all I've got to do is cut out that bird shape and it's it's quite simple I think this might be too thin I'm going to cut it out of this um, <laughs> it's quite simple she says let's have a go what's the worst that can happen so so that's the straight bit so we just need to cut like a curve. I have, Obviously, this is the only picture of a bird that I can find. Not something I have in my stash. What do you think? That's, that's that shape. And then his tail, which I'm going to do in a different colour. Oh, yeah, pink. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's do it pink. It may not be completely the right proportions as that one. Or anywhere near the proportions of that one. And that's maybe slightly too big. Um, let's cut that little bit off. So his tail can go on there. And then all I need are feet and beaks. And then obviously I will be doing the background so the beak and the feet I'm going to embroider so the the only thing I've got to do is just create my background and I'm quite I'm quite enjoying doing backgrounds if I could just do the background I think I'd be fine it's when you come to doing all the other bits let's get rid of the tatty bit love that frame i'm just going to arrange my pieces i just ripped a few bits off this pink might be too vibrant <laughs> we'll see got a butterfly i like that oh let's put this up here i might have to get some more out a bit of my dyed Um, fabric um, what else have I got oh yeah I had that spotty stuff didn't I should we do a should we do a length of that let me cut that there this is really really thin though so it's probably gonna have to go on top of something I may have to find some more let me have a little dig so I think this is gonna be too strong so I've got my, my my box of scraps is actually getting bigger. <laughs> I don't know how. How do they get bigger when you're using them all the time? There's a nice little piece. So I could put that one up there like this. And maybe this could go something like... I don't want to cover the butterfly. Maybe like that. Something like that with my bird on so I think that is going to be how he goes I may put him down here and do something else up there don't know yet don't know yet I might even cut out one of these little bird houses and put that on the top oh it look good oh it can go on the top of there like a little like a little um bird house on a pole <gasps> yes we'll do that we'll do that so that could go like that, or like that. So I've done a little bit of stitching. I've put on my poster. I've, I've like appliqued it, I've tucked in the edges and just stitched up. I haven't finished all of these. And I've put my little birdhouse on the top and gone round that. Oh, it's really cute. I've gone round the heart. Just done some running stitches here. I've done like a feathery stitch and I've done some knots little French knots on my circles and now I want to put on my little bird 
so I've had a bit of a change of plan for the tail because I'm thinking he's going to be sat down here this is why I haven't done this bit I thought he could sit down here sort of and I'll do his legs and I'm wondering whether I can put on a yo-yo as a tail now I think I don't know which one I quite like that one I like this one as well. I just think it's a bit big. So I'm going to think about that in a minute. And I wish you could tell me which one to use. But you're not going to because you're too far away. <laughs> so I'm going to do what I did before. And I'm going to fold down these edges. I think that will be the way to go. Oops, too far in. And I thought I might try and just sort of copy that and maybe just do a running stitch around to sort of stitch it down. I don't know if this is a way. I know it's a sort of a plique, but I think you have to do like an over stitch for that, like I did up the top on the birdhouse. But I'm like... <laughs> I'm not going to do all of this with you, don't worry, because I think it might take a little while. I'm quite a slow stitcher. A slow, slow stitcher. I just thought it looked really cute with a yo-yo a tail. So I just what I'll do is I'll just get him down. But my stitches are not straight. I sort of kind of wish they were on this. So I hope everybody's well and you're all enjoying your stitching project this month. I wasn't sure I was going to do the bird because I hadn't got one. Well, I never have. I never have the um the prompt, do I? <laughs> you always have to make something. <laughs> and I was going to keep this one simple. So I'm just going to I'm going to just trim that stuff off tuck this in this is going to be tricky this is what might take me a little while because so I'm going to go so I may just finish this going round here and then I'll pop back when that's done and we'll do his feet and his little beak and I'll have had a thought about which which yo-yo I'm going to put on so I'm going to finish off that bit. I'll see you in just a second. I just had a turf snowbell off the centre. The centre right here. Oh, honestly. Well, there's my tail I was going to put on. But I do think I'm going with the blue one. I'm going to pop it on there like that. I think that'll look really super cute. I know I'm covering up stuff. I've left this from where I finished, so I'm just going to come up for the centre and do a few. Am I going at the, the centre? No. I'm coming up on the edge. I'm going to stitch it down over the edge. Yeah, right in the middle. I had to pick her up and carry her home. <laughs> really? She doesn't care. I was going, I want to do a video. Excuse me. I was squished in a little corner. I says, I'm not turning the camera on while you're sitting there. I should have took a photo, shouldn't I? No, no. <laughs> no, you're not going on. So I'm just going to go round the outside of this yo-yo. I'm pretty sure this is how you sew them on. <laughs> I don't know, it might be wrong. I don't really use these. This is one I just made out of. I, I sit and it's one of my one of my mobile crafting um, hobbies. If I'm not actually doing embroidery and stitching, I I I I do I, I cut out my words from the magazines like you saw, and also I make yo-yos and clusters from my scraps. So it you know. I can't just sit and watch a TV programme or a film. 
I have to be doing something as well. <laughs> Who's the same? Who can just sit and watch a programme? I think I used to be able to until I started um, crafting. And now I'm like, I just can't. I just, I'm like, well, my hands need to be doing something. And it's okay, as long as you can have the big light on. The big light. I'm usually watching YouTube. I watch videos and then I forget to go back to comment. But if I haven't commented, I am watching them on YouTube. I'm just not coming back to comment. Because I, I think that affects your video. Nearly round. And it'll look super cute. I may put a button in the middle or something. Not decided yet. We will see. Nearly done. Nearly round. So I finally got my week off this week. Oh, it's so nice. It's so nice to not have to go to work tomorrow. I feel like I'm not so pressured. Like, I must do this, must do that, must do this. Oops, I missed. There we go. I can actually relax and enjoy my crafting. Okay, last stitch. There we go. And then we'll do his little feet and his little beak. Tie this off. You <laughs> see where I did my dots? My uh, knot. <laughs> Zigzagged up and then I zigzag back down again. Oh no, no. I've got a knot in my knot. Oh, do you think that will hold it? Yeah, we'll go with it, shall we? <laughs> Let's just cut that there. Okay. I've lost a needle as well. Oh, I put it down and I've got my cotton and then the needle was gone. It was bizarre. And I am forever doing that. I keep forgetting where I put my needle. And I'm like, then panicking because I can't find it anywhere. But I, I really don't know where it went. I've looked around. I've used my little torch to see if I can find... See if I can find it by like it's shining up. I'm doing a little back stitch. I've got, I think there's two strands I'm using. Just one little, he only has little tiny legs. Maybe should have done him higher up, but, you know, I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> That's it. I'm go um, I think I'll go this way, like that. And do another back stitch for his, for his, little, his little feet. And I'm going to go up, back up to the top. It's only a little way. I don't think it matters. He's a massive big bird with little teeny tiny feet. <laughs> What's the word? What's the word? Um, oh my goodness, I can't think of the word. Oh, no, it's gone. Like perception, you know, things are bigger and smaller than they should be. I can't think, I can't think of so I have pre-threaded my needles while I was waiting to see if Snowball would actually move. And in the end, she didn't. So I had to move her. Right, so I'm just going to do his little beak. And he starts at a point there. And he does come 
actually onto that. So we're going to go on. I am copying. <laughs> I'm copying. And we're going to, oh no, it's not that big. Is it about there? We'll go with that. So I'm going to go back up. Now I'm sure I should do like a satin stitch here. But my satin stitches are not very good. I'm going to give them a go. Concentrating. Right, I think. I think I've just got to do his eye and I'm done. And I'm putting my needle back in because I don't want to lose another one. I'm sure I'll find it. I'll find it with my feet. I'll stand on it, won't I? Okay, and one little eye. Round about here. And definitely going to be doing a little French knot for his eye. There he is. Tie that off. And I don't know if I'm going to do a lot more to this one. I will finish doing some stitches on my background. Some more running stitches and, you know, different ones. So if I do any more, I'll let you know. Well, I'll show you. Hopefully next week I'll, I'll have finished. I don't know whether to do anything with the butterfly. I quite like him. But I might go round. I want to finish off. These aren't all stitched down. So I want to finish that off. Nothing to do with Christmas. But, you know, it's cute. <laughs> I'll see you soon, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. And don't forget to go and check out Rachel and Sarah's channels. They will obviously be linked below as normal. And thank you, girls. I'm absolutely loving this one. This one is like one of my favourite pages. Nice and simple and really cute. See you soon.